Today for my bag of Melodyne tricks, correcting metronome flams and slippage. Errors in the tempo detection might sometimes look like this. The time grid beneath the notes is out of alignment. Either it's just slightly adrift for one beat, in which case the metronome flams somewhat, or the grid slips at eighth note, sixteenth note, or some other note value out of alignment and remains there for the remainder of the song. These are two different problems, and a separate tool exists for each. If you move the mouse in the lower area of the curve, the wave tool appears. With this, you correct the small flams. Further up, the move tool appears. With this, you correct larger offsets. But first, listen to the metronome. It follows the feel of the music here very well. But here, the accented click slips to the offbeat and stays there. This note should really be the first beat. So place the move tool at the beginning of the corresponding bar, the red line helps you aim, and move it until you hit the note. Everything to the right of the cursor is selected automatically and moves on block. So with a single movement, you correct all the following bars. In the unselected area to the left of the point from which you begin dragging, the curve accelerates, as this is the only way of bringing forward the start of the bar. I'll exaggerate a little so that you can see the increase in tempo more clearly. In the concrete instance, however, as I've said, I must aim for here. And in this way, the problem is solved. Now to the flams. For these, take the wave tool. This works locally. It doesn't affect all that follows. Only the bar is immediately to the right and left of the point from which you begin dragging. The bar to the left is accelerated and the one to the right slowed down to the same degree. Everything outside the selection remains unaffected. In practice, slight movements generally suffice, like this. The area selected automatically is smaller if, instead of at the beginning of the bar, you drag a beat within the bar. Or you can select the area to be edited yourself before you start dragging the beat, so you can edit wide areas. Or very specific ones. Even with the smallest selection possible, such as this, the curve always flows smoothly. So the metronome is never jerky and you can keep time to it in a musical way.